Okay, just to be really brief about how to get your index page up on your domain. After you've got your domain and your hosting account, you want to get the FTP software. And we're going to do it right now. This is a brand new computer, so I'm going to go right and do this exactly with you. And this is if you have a um, Windows system. I'm using the Firefox browser. And I go to Tools in the Firefox browser. And Add-ons and extensions. Now I'm going to go over here in the search box and I'm going to type in Fire FTP and I'm going to hit enter and there it is right there Fire FTP. Now that's an uh, FTP software that we're going to be using a lot so you're going to hit install and then you're going to close it and a page might pop up sometimes with the guy that created it but if it doesn't that's cool. Now when we go to tools we can go to um, web developer and we should see fire FTP here but probably not until we restart the browser let me see see this pops up now <laughs> and that's cool that's the guy that created it now when you go to tools add-ons I mean uh, tools and web developer you are gonna see fire FTP and that's a beautiful little software let's check it out this is my desktop computer side and this is my hosting side. I'm not logged into any hosting account because I just downloaded it just like you did. I didn't download it, I installed the plugin. Drop down box and well it dropped down and went right there. You're supposed to go drop down and slide down if you hold your left mouse button. Now I'm gonna make a new account, okay? Um let's do it. This is gonna be online success. Online S U C C E S S now. This is my domain online success now. Now my host would be whatever my domain is to my main hostgator account. Remember you got a main hostgator account and then you can add on domains. Well let's use the main host hosting account. Worldwide Web dot online dot com. Don't put HTTP because this is FTP. Now the login here is Hester and then I think that's it it's a lot of weird characters so if I can remember that I'm doing good and let's see connect okay so I gotta do it again and if I'm wrong this time okay alright so we're logged in we set up an account now when we go here we'll have a drop down box we'll have online success now I'll add all my other 30 domains after okay so I logged into um, public underscore a F HTML is where you want to go public underscore HTML alright we logged in we got that plugin on Firefox or you can get another FTP software just go to Google go to Google file new tab and go to Google and say um, right here Google free FTP software and you know go for the main ones like if you wanted to file Zilla dot project dot org all right and get that one but I like the uh, this one now when you do go to your domain don't touch any of this other stuff you'll get in trouble just go right here to public underscore HTML log in there now this is already gonna have everything in here <laughs> this is already gonna have the index page but you're not gonna have nothing in there just maybe a CGI folder or something and remember it's in the public underscore HTML nothing else now you're already gonna you're not gonna have one in there but I have one see I have a, a index um, dot HTML is right here index dot HTML that's what you gotta get in there now so we get the FTP software and that's gonna be under tools web developer and fire FTP after you install it from the from the tools add-ons extensions and then search fire FTP now HTML editor Google free HTML editor you know I'm gonna let you do the research and fi figure what you want I use Microsoft front page I'll show you where you can find that if you email me sometimes you can find it let me see uh, Dreamweaver free HTML website editor free online HTML editor go like that free online that means it'll be live right on online there's one on there um, free online 
HTML editor, HTML edit square. This is the one real time. So type in that. Now this one has uh, the text and the HTML code. So uh, a basic uh, a basic index page HTML and body body tag and the end body tag, which is the greater than arrow than a forward slash, and then the word body, and then the close tag, the uh, less than arrow, whatever. And the HTML end tag would be forward slash HTML, all right? And then that, very simple. This is the index page. And now you could go like this and put uh, the center tag, C-E-N-T-E-R. We're going to use other HTML editors as well. I'm going to make most of the squeeze pages for you. You just upload them in the folder and we start promoting the training and you get paid $48.50 per sale every month. The center tag and then this is my home page. This and then the end center tag, right? Greater than arrow forward slash C-E-N-T-E-R. And you can look up tags, HTML tags or free HTML help or whatever. Now here's this. See, this is my home page. Now, if you wanted, you know, font of a different size, you'd have to go look up the tag for that. All right. So this is my home page. So if you went, this is the code that you would need to upload. You would copy this, and you would go to um, all programs and accessories, because you got to do this anyway. Accessories, and then when you find the Notepad, where you can put your files, should be Notepad right here. Right click on it and choose uh, pin it to the um, pin to the stop menu right now when I go here if I go to the start button and there's my notepad alright so I want that there now I can hit control V hold down the control key the bottom left hand uh, on the keyboard the bottom left control key and hit and while you hold it down hit the letter V and that paste it so now you could save this to your desktop like uh, save that to you have to save it dot html so save my page dot html you don't want to name it to index right now until you get it up there because you don't want to overwrite something on your desktop you might have saved if you start working on more than one pages so my page dot html make sure you do that and then hit save and paste and file save as let's see where it's saved to okay it's saved to documents so check out where you're saving that don't save that okay all right my home page okay we want to go to the documents my documents oh and there's my page dot html okay now I now I would go like this I would go to my desktop over here and click on that oh I would go to my documents I mean and I would right click on that and choose upload All right, and it will upload in there called my page right so let me see my page once you get it in there as my page or whatever you want to name it you just go like this you right click on it and you choose rename and then right from that E change index dot HTML and then you'll have an index dot HTML file in there I'll leave you some code below that you just copy and put it right in. You don't need to go through all that finding that HTML editor. But then you'll have an index page just like mine right here. Now, let me see. I want to delete that. So I'll just delete that because I already have an index page. But make sure you name it to index. And that will hide all these folders. Because we're going to make folders in there after by going like this. Right click and choose create directory and then we'll make a folder for each different product and different project okay get that index page in there that's very important first okay 